Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. Now, I'm going to do a episode today trying to show just how wicked our women have become. Meaning, a lot of our modern-day black women, in my black women, in my most humble opinion, has become murderous, homicidal, desperate, wicked. What do I mean? I'm going to show some clips out of fair use and for educational purposes to show you what I'm talking about and to teach you my point of view about how evil some of our black women have become to the point that they will take a precious baby, a little child, put that child inside of a duffel bag and then place that child inside of that duffel bag inside of a trash compactor and allow the trash compactor to crush it. Now, I'm not making this up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this right quick so y'all can see for yourselves about how wicked our times have become. Let's get started. woman is accused of a crime so horrific. Veteran law enforcement officers say it shocked even them. A mother charged with murdering her own baby, placing it alive inside a trash compactor before it was later found dead in a landfill. Police held a special news conference tonight, and WDHN's Aaron Dixon has the details all new at 10. A Dothan mother had a baby boy 11 days ago at her home and told people that she dropped it off right here behind me at Southeast Health to be taken care of. But after questions from family members and from hospital staff, that story was allegedly a lie. And now that mother is charged for the death of her child. Family members began to question Dothan mother, Ja'Kayla Williams, about the story they were told regarding her baby boy. They wanted to visit the child at Southeast Health and make sure the baby was okay. But when they went to the hospital and asked them about the incident, police say they had no record of the baby being dropped off. Instead, police say Williams had the child in the morning at her home, where she then went to an apartment complex on the west side of Dothan and put the baby boy wrapped in a blanket in a trash compactor similar to this one. I've never even... Now, she had this baby in her own apartment, and she took the baby to a junkyard placed it in this um type of trash compactor you see on the screen and you're gonna see why she did this what has happened to the women today it's not natural for a woman who has given birth to a child to want to delete it if you didn't want to take care or raise this child why did you sleep with a pookie ray ray nook nook or just some type of man who wasn't a good man period why would you do that why did you decide to have a non-marital birth now, personally, I'm against abortion. That's my personal belief. And if you have abortions and, and if you support it, that's you. I ain't got no judgment for you. That's all on you, whatever you want to do. But why I said that is because you had an option to terminate the pregnancy. You did not have to let it go full term to give birth to the child and then end the life in such a horrific, sorry, horrific fashion. That's crazy. That's, that's insane even heard of something so horrific as this uh, it's just it, it shocks the mind shocks the soul officers say they went to the apartment complex and found the dumpster with a trash compactor attached to it and after looking through the contents at the dothan city landfill they found the remains of the newborn wrapped in a mattress protector inside a zipped up duffel bag the boy's remains were sent to the alabama department of forensic sciences in montgomery to confirm it was the missing baby she knew obviously that she could take a child newborn to the hospital and drop it off and there's alabama law that there's no questions asked policy williams in the alleged lie said she dropped the child off at the hospital because she didn't want it and that a baby cost too much money to care for now you hear this a baby costs too much to care for which is i ain't gonna say it's true but it costs a lot it costs over i forgot american sociological association I think that's the source I read this from. Don't quote me, but you can look it up for yourself. It costs a, uh, at least over $300,000 to raise a child now from age one to age 18 in 2023. You know what I mean? But still, you trying to say that a baby's life is worth thousand dollars That's just too much. With all these government assistant programs out here to assist you, your life is going to be hard for you. Look at us. You're like a young teenage girl. It's a choice you made. You decide to go out there and open your legs and be a thought and let someone skeet up all up in you. You decide a little man skid in your face and, and when it hit your side of your face like this, you took your right hand right here and then you did this right here. Oh, yum, 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 yum. You rubbed it in your face like Jergens lotion because you want to be a thought. You want to be hot in the ass. That's your fault. What you did is unacceptable. 
and in my personal opinion, people who do this should get the, uh, shouldn't get life. They should get the death penalty. That child didn't stand a chance. Williams is charged with capital murder for the death of her child. And even given the circumstances of uh, this horrible, horrible crime, uh, they did their jobs and they did it well. And that's why we're standing in front of you today. Williams is currently in the Houston County Jail with no bond set in her case. And tomorrow morning, she's expected to appear in a Houston County courtroom for her first court appearance. Reporting in Dothan, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for The Wiregrass. Now, he said Houston County. It's not the Houston that I know. Okay, he's talking about um in Alabama. I guess that's their county out there, Houston County. Where I'm from is Harris County for Houston. Now, let me tell you something. Um, I'm going to put up a story up here, and I want to show you just how we don't even respect our elders anymore. A lot of people who had the blessing to, of knowing their grandmothers and who had the blessing of a loving grandmother cherish their grandmothers, right? These women took a chainsaw to her, put on a barbecue pit. Now, that's not uncommon. You might say, what, Mr. Hill? That's not uncommon. In Houston, Texas, on the north side of Houston, different situation, same MO. A man was having a fight with his woman, dismembered her, do on the barbecue pit. Do on, I don't know if it's a Traeger, I don't know, I ain't trying to be funny, but do on the barbecue pit to try to get rid of the remains so you can get away from the crime, which is tragic, horrible, indecent, immoral. But it happened. Let me play this for you right quick. Grandmother killed, dismembered, and grilled. A mother and daughter in Prince George's County, Maryland, are accused of killing 71-year-old Margaret Cray the mother and grandmother of the duo, and then using a chainsaw to dismember her and burn her remains on a charcoal grill. On June 5, 2023, Prince George's County police officers responded to the 200 block of Hill Road in Hyattsville for a welfare check on Margaret Cray. The police department reportedly received a call from someone who claimed they had not heard from Margaret Craig for multiple days and were worried about her well-being. Upon arrival at the home, Police said 44-year-old Candace Craig, the daughter of Margaret Craig, opened the door. She allowed the officers access to the home and they immediately noticed the smell of decomposition in the basement, police said. According to court documents, upon entering the basement officers immediately recognized the smell of putrefaction and observed blood and tissue on the floor near three white plastic trash bags mm. officers said they discovered what appeared to be brain matter in an open trash bag on the floor police also noticed a knife on the ground on the basement floor upon returning to the basement the knife was missing police also said they found a cover to a chainsaw cutting utensils cleaning materials and blood spatter throughout the basement where the remains were found court documents there go the barbecue pit right there they were using i think you can get this at walmart or home depot this is what they were using to put the, the grandmother on chop her into pieces now wait till you see why they did it but this is this is horrible where is the love now you know if that's your grandmother i'm thinking the grandma was in their lives took them places took them food but wait till you see why it's reveal the court documents also stated that the remains were identified as Margaret's. Further investigation led police to determine that Candace murdered her mother on May 23rd and had her 19-year-old daughter, Salia Hardy, help her attempt to dispose of the remains. So you had your mother's granddaughter help you in this wicked crime. Imagine the pressure that daughter had to be under. If I don't help my mother do this thing right here, I might lose both my mother and my grandmother because my mother may get discovered and she may go to prison. So I'll be, I'll be out of it. I wouldn't have my mama. I won't have my grandmother. Now that granddaughter might have loved the grandmother, but that's the mother. So I got to help mama. Think about what you're doing to each other, ladies. Court documents state that Candace was involved in an altercation with her mother prior to her alleged killing. Defendant 2 Salia Hardy stated that the decedent threatened to report her daughter, Defendant 1 Candace Craig, to the police for fraudulent use of her credit card, Defendant 1 then attacked the decedent. The court documents state, So this is over money. I guess the granddaughter still loved her but still was taking advantage of grandmother, using her credit card, running scams, and threatening to put the police on her as she should. And then the mother said, no, not my baby. And took out her own mother to protect her daughter. The mother should have been like, yeah, 
put that uh, my daughter in jail. Hope she can learn from it and be a productive citizen afterwards. But now. Candace Craig is charged with first and second degree murder. Salia Hardy is charged with accessory after the fact. Both are in the custody of the Department of Corrections. So tragic. So tragic. I got one more example of the murderous women out there now. Gentlemen, you got to be careful. This is a short clip, about 20 seconds. Let's get it started. Police have charged this woman on your screen with the murder of her two-year-old granddaughter. Emergency crews responded to a medical... You heard it. She deleted her own granddaughter. Emergency crews responded to a medical emergency call on April 1st. They found a little girl in cardiac arrest. The two-year-old was pronounced dead at a hospital. Greensboro police say the child was in the care of her grandmother, Ruby Thomas, and had suffered fractured ribs, more than 50 contusions, injuries to the face, head, and body. Thomas is charged with first-degree murder and felony child abuse. Ooh-wee. It is hard out here for a pimp. This is crazy. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to this person. I, I never do this, but I, this time I'll do this. Boom, on the screen. I want to give a shout out to Judah Lion 2067. The reason I'm doing this because uh, I don't know. I hardly ever respond to these type of texts or messages I get in my comments, but I thought I'd do it today. I had made a video talking about are black women taking L's? And this moron, um, his name is, I can't read this, Dumb Fortune 1558. He writes, and I repeat what he writes. He says, again, again, not all black women are like this. You have to scrap the bottom of the barrel to get these clips. Because the clips I put up, ladies and gentlemen, are displaying certain actions that he don't want to, that he doesn't want to be exposed. But the guy at the bottom, Judah Lion 267 said this in defense of what I do. He said, not about all women. But if a community of women act like that on multiple occasions, that's what he is pointing out. He's right. That's exactly what I do. Now, for the gentleman who said, again, not all women. No, my heart beating. I'm super simp. Now, let me tell you something. I have about nearly 500 videos on this channel. Do you really think I am scrubbing? I am scrubbing, desperately searching, looking hard to find these type of behaviors? With, over, with almost 500 videos, it's easy to find. You know why? Because their behavior is consistent. I can put up here every day. I can put something new about what they're doing because they are consistently behaving like this. Okay? So, you need to get out your feelings, man. Put your skirt down, man. I don't know. It sounds feminine. I guess he's mad because he didn't get an opportunity to eat his man's booty today. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I ain't trying to knock the LGBTQIA. I'm not trying to say nothing offensive to that community. But to me, that sounds like he might be a little you no know, funny, a little bit a little feminine. I don't know what the right way of saying that is. But I just think he's mad because he didn't get a glass of milk and eat his man's booty today. But anyway, long story short, thank you, Judah, for um, stepping in and saying what you said. And again, some of you people, I get a couple of those comments sometimes. I'm not talking about all women. I never said that I'm talking about all women. And if you're too stupid enough to not realize that I'm talking about a certain type of behavior, then that's you. You're getting all in your thing. I bet you anything you're raised by a single mother. Because that's a feminine trait, what you did. To get on somebody's comments and say, again, and then, then, then. I'm going to tell you something. If you think I'm supposed to be like, some of you try to, try to say I'm trying to be like Kevin Samuels. I'm nothing like him, as you can see right now. My personality is totally different. I don't mind calling y'all, buddy. All right, but um, I want to thank y'all for what y'all <laughs> have done. I do appreciate it. I'll see you later. Y'all take it easy now, you hear? <laughs> say that you've